Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be looking at high media work rates, 5 star skill with a 4 star weak foot. Georgie Best. Wow. Look at this card. It looks incredible. I remember when I first saw him. He's got the technical plus and the fur and first touch plus as well. Now, this video is quite old and I've got quite a lot of gameplay with him now. I have done him now. But I remember using his loan and then I used his actual card when I did it. What did I think about this card? Yeah, he's incredible. I know the total price of his SBC was about 1.7 million coins. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. This card is absolutely insane. I mean, look at his dribbling like, wow. He, oh, do, do you know what? It's so hard to take the ball off him. He's going to make you... He's going to, yeah, he's, he's defend, the defenders are going to be on ice skates in another arena whilst he just plays football. You've got to remember, at this very difficult time where this man played football, the pitches weren't like the way to, they are now. These smooth carpets that you see today, these well-maintained, looked-after pitches... And the, the boots, and even the football wasn't the same. But the fact that he could dribble like that. I'll be honest with you guys. This guy could dribble past you. Even if he had his, you know, just socks on. Like, this guy's just insane. He's Georgie Best. He's Georgie Best. He's absolutely rapid as well. He's got solid, solid Traveller shots. I am going to say one thing though. His finishing isn't the best. But look at his pace. He got he, he absolutely got away from Maldini there. That surprised me. I've not really done that before. Because Maldini with the shadow is upwards of 90 odd pace. And I'm sure that's the chemistry style a lot of people are choosing on him. But you see here how alert he is as well. And can I just say one thing I've always not liked about coming up against Georgie Best is he defends as well. Like, this is just an EFC 24 thing. Since George Best was introduced into FIFA, his defending is really, really good. Like, I promise you, gotta use this. if you use this guy in right mid, he'll defend for you. 100% he would. And, and his finishing is probably the one thing that I'd say was a bit weird. Like... Sometimes crazy, like gets that ball at the back of the net. And sometimes it was a weird shot. So I think his finishing is a bit strange. But besides that, his pace, his passing, his dribbling, the way he feels on the ball, his agility and balance, his stamina, all insane. And this is a Georgie Best card. Like, do you know what Georgie Best is all about? He's going to be one of them type of players that stays in your club permanently. With the two playstyle pluses as well. That's huge. Yeah, I absolutely love this guy, man. I really do. He created so many opportunities from that wing. Or oh, whether I played him in strike, um, left wing, right wing. Doesn't matter where you use him. This guy will be usable regardless of what or where you use him. His pace is rapid. He just opens up gaps on that. Look how fast. Look, look how fast he is. Look how fast he is, right? This guy's trying to catch him up with Robertson. Robertson hasn't got a chance in hell. And from here, he just launches one. Just, just launches one, yeah? So even though his finishing isn't the best, I feel like he's got that Traveller shot. Like, I don't know if he's got the Traveller play style, but, mate, when you take a Traveller with this guy, it's beautiful. Like, like, look, I'll be honest with you guys. I reviewed Totti Messi, and Totti Messi does not have finesse shot play style plus. But when I used him, I definitely got a feeling that he had that. So some of these icons and Totti players probably do have, you know, they probably do have um, finesse shots or, or Traveller hidden traits. Because look, at the end of the day, these guys are some of the best players. Look at this pass right there to Kylian Mbappe. Like his passing is so good as well. This is such a versatile card that I think 
will only do one thing to your team, improve it. And look, look at how much space he's got on that wing. Of course, he's going to help people, you know, get involved in the gameplay, score goals. And I think this is a really good card. I think 1.7 million coins is... Isn't that much, actually. I think the price might have gone higher because fodder was just so high. Like, 89s were like 46, 47,000 coins. So I don't actually know the actual price of this card now. I really, I really don't, you know? So I do want to just say that because fodder prices are ridiculously high, aren't they? So I think this SBC is probably more expensive now than it was when it first came out initially. But let me just say, overall, this is a cracking card. Of course I'd do him, because look how good he is on the ball, just dropping people and then making these very, very important passes. And of course, you know, look, he's not my striker because he's not better than Pelé and he's not better than Eusebio de Silva Ferreira and getting that ball at the back of the net. But on the wing, he's ridiculously good. Like, insanely good. So, of course, I'd have him in my team. Look at the way he dribbles. Look how fast he is as well. Holds his own right there. You know, strong. I think the whole chemistry style really, really enhances this card. And, you know, makes him a little bit more stronger. All right, well, that's fine. It's up to you what chemistry style you want to use on this type of man. But overall, S tier, all day, every day. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.